Together, I have this guy, Joe, who's... I, I've been sending him stills. You know, and... When I tried to do my voice over those stills, I hated the sound of my voice. And I just said, you know, titles of work. <laughs> uh -huh. I just don't feel I have a, a that kind of a voice, you know, to make it sound interesting. So, you know, it's hard to say. So when you get a project like this, how do you estimate how long it's going to take in your mind? Oh. Well, you know, I, I kind of... Well, I have been trying to transition into doing uh, mosaic over ceramic, and I've been doing some research, mm -hmm. and I explored this other stuff called uh, hypertufa or tufa, which is a form of cement, but it's mixed with um, perlite and sphagnum, and I wanted to use that because it's about 50% lighter than this. But um, I, my research t told me, or uh, my friend uh, Lee Adams, who does a lot of mosaicing, she's my, my mosaic godmother, uh, she, apparently there's organic material in the uh, hypertufa, and because there's organic material in it, the mosaic won't stick. It'll all eventually just sort of fall off. And you don't want to see this much work you know. Yeah. Start losing you pieces. You let go of it. So you, <clears throat> you put yourself through whatever it takes to, to do what you have to do to get what you need to get. And if that means that you have to do it the right way, you do it the right way. So all of a sudden this project came up where they offered to let me have a skull if I wanted to paint it. I said, I want a skull, but I don't want to paint it. I want to mosaic over it. And they said, oh, yeah, yeah, you can mosaic over it. It's, <laughs> it's really strong. But they still had no idea how much um, other work needed to be done before I could mosaic over it. They thought, oh, yeah, it's hard. But if I tried to stick this over that, the, the paper mache would dissolve. So I still had a lot of work ahead of me, and there was another sculptor, artist, uh, Pat, Pat Gay, who offered to come in and help, and I said, well, maybe between the two of us we can kind of get it up to speed and, and do the, you know, do the prep work, because, mm -hmm. you know, I still haven't been able to sit in on its base, so that's the big deal, right? And I didn't really want to design and compose while it was on its side, but mm -hmm. I'm too impatient and I didn't want to be at a standstill while the base is drying. So I'm just trying to get as much done as possible. And then once it's upright, if the composition is off, I might find myself popping some of these off of there. I need to get more marbles to, to, to make it, you know, look right. I know the way it works. I've never done this before, really. Myself, mosaic stuff. You know, I did the 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 metro station, but that metro station was different because. I didn't have to uh, lay it on the wall. They they did all the work, and that's a, that was a huge weight off my shoulders. 